Hello, everyone. Welcome to the newest edition of Team Johnson Outdoors. How's today going? Good. Well, I'm winded. <laughs> We're on our second day of pike fishing up on Lake of the Woods. Stay tuned. It's been epic so far. Yes. We're on day two of our trip up here to northern Minnesota, Lake of the Woods, chasing down some monster pike. We'll be up there probably around 7.30. Hopefully be on the ice fishing by 8.30. We'll see. Here comes the man, the myth, and the legend. Let's go, baby. Let's do it. Go back to bed. <laughs> we finally got all set up. A bit more of a struggle today to get ready. We've got uh, three tip-ups kind of in a line here. And then on the other side of the shack, we got five. It's just the four of us out today, so we have eight tip-ups out See if anything hits and then we'll move accordingly. Callan, how's it going? Good. You guys getting warmed up in the shack? Must be if you're running out here with your sweatshirt on. It's warm up here. Yeah, it is really nice. There's hardly any wind today. So, all right, wish us luck. You got one? Yep. I was just checking it. And as soon as I let it go, it just shot out. I'm breathing too hard. I think he kind of came loose here a little bit. Okay. There we go. He's coming up. Oh, little guy. <laughs> Not very big. But first fish of the day, so no complain about that. No. These ones are set a little bit deeper than the other tip-ups are. So I was just over checking them out. Thinking about maybe moving one out this way. So I guess we'll see what happens here. So there it is. Seems like I can only catch small ones. I caught the small one yesterday and the small one today. So I'll leave the big ones for you guys. We told ourselves we weren't going to move until noon. Well, it's 1130 and Scott decides he wants to go deeper. So when the fishing's slow, you find things to do. Like move a tip up out deeper take some hockey tape and wrap up the pole so you can see it better there's one with some tape on it and then there's one without but that's what you do when you get bored all right yeah it's going to town for sure i don't think there's much line on that spool parker when you grab it set the hook yep it's almost out of line set the hook right away you there, buddy? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> it was almost out of line. Yeah. I saw it. Ooh. Oh, God. Where's Harkey Never on the table? I don't know. know. Hey. Pup, you got going? Okay, you yeah. can't really give him a line. I'm going to help him out. Okay. Take your time. Hey, don't wrap it around the hand like that. Take Here your go. time. Don't wrap it around the hand. Take your time. Don't Watch out for bobbers, because as soon as you hit the bobber like that, it's going to cause a shock with the line. I can't get it out of the hole there. That's the problem. Okay. I can't like, get it into the hole. Okay. It's too fat. It's too big. Okay, there you go. Oh my gosh. I got <laughs> <laughs> Come on out of here, come here. Okay, look at the size of that fish. Kellen, we need the tape measure. All right, bucket. All right. Ah! Show Kellen how big it is. <laughs> he saw it. You know, for us being prepared with that sled, we never use it, do we? Open her. Okay. Let me see his head. Turn him towards me once. Jeez. My fish. What are we thinking it is? What do we got there? 
36 and a half. Oh, hold on a second, we're at all the way to the end here. There we go. 37? 37 and... Nice. Yeah, 37 and a... 37 and a half? 37 and a half, yeah. I'll give you that. Okay, that's where I'm going. Okay. Okay, thanks. Nice that's fish, huh? Oh. Oh. So Parker just caught his. We're all out of breath because we're coming running over to this one. Good job, bud. All right, nice work, buddy. Okay, there we go. So that's the third one. We're three for three. You haven't missed. Three. A 37 and a half, which ties our team Johnson personal bests by Mr. Parker. And Kellen just released his. All right, we're just getting this one set, and I didn't even have it in the hole yet, hardly. And I could feel something on it. Ready? Yep. <laughs> Parker, watch your fingers. Because the last thing we need is for one of you guys to get a hook in the hand. All right. Just a guy. Yeah, just a little guy. All right, well, I'm glad that uh, I'm not the only one in the small fish club. So the action was pretty hot there for a little bit. Uh, Parker caught his big one. Kellen caught a small one. I caught a small one all within about a 10 minute period. And it seems like that's how it's been going up here where all of a sudden stuff just kind of goes crazy for a little bit. Then there's a lull. Then all of a sudden when one play goes up, three go up. So anyway, we're just getting back to being situated here and uh, we're waiting for more flags. And as a matter of fact, this one just fell down the hole and it's spinning. Flag! Right here. <laughs> As I was talking to you, I heard it. Okay, hurry up, because it's heavy and I can't. Hold on, we gotta get the, hold on. Okay. Hold on. You got it? You feel anything? Definitely some, oh, definitely just that puppet eyes. All right. Well, let's get to, let's get set up again. Man, I got got really, really exciting real fast here. It's a beautiful day. The wind's not blowing for once. It's hot out. Um, it's kind of the day that I always see on the videos where the people are out enjoying nice weather and catching big fish. So it's all coming together. But we're making memories. The boys won't forget any of this stuff anytime soon. So. Uh, it's just great to be out here. Oh, God. Oh, yeah, that's a good decent one. Okay. Uh, all right, not huge, but not too bad. <laughs> and we don't have the sled. Every time we've brought the sled, we have not caught anything. <laughs> So we left the sled and it's way down in there. Okay, Kelly noticed it's got a bit of a battle scar down here. And then if you look there, you can see a little bulge in his stomach. So either that was what he just ate or maybe he's been in here feeding on something. Uh-oh, he might let himself down the hole. Oh, there he goes. All right, Cal. Well, you'll get a big one one of these days, right, buddy? Yeah. Yeah, stick with it. 
right, so traditionally when you're setting these, you find bottom and then you grab down by the water and then pull it up and measure the length of your tip up uh, shaft and then you adjust that. But since we have such a distance between the water and the top of the snow, we're just measuring from the top of the snow because that's actually where the tip up's sitting and then measure the part that's down there. And then we've been putting it anywhere from a foot to two feet uh, off the bottom. So we'll set that one right about there and use the bobber stop where we're uh -huh. to mark the line. Uh, and then, then we'll be good to go. And then we just lean on the shovel and watch. Yeah. Kids. Supervisor. Supervisor. Not a sharp hook, just a little hook that we can use to try to get something unhooked from the bottom of the hole. Parker, why don't you just jump down in there? So it makes me wonder if the line's going to be cut into the ice somehow, because he's taking the line out. Stay tuned. All right, we got it loose. It was the bobber that was stuck on the bottom of the hole. Well, oh, are we stuck again? And so Callum was playing with our little pole here and I said, don't break that thing. It serves a purpose. Right, Kellen? Yeah. Oh, and me and Carter got here, he was running so fast. Oh, I, I just told you to take it, Kellen. You're lucky you took it. Six. Okay. Hey, yeah. Kellen up here. Right. There you go. Good job, bud. Nice. Okay. All right. Let's get back on that now. Oh, my hands are so slimy. Ooh. There he goes. Nice. Good job, Kellen. You finally got your thirty pluser. <laughs> well, this uh, trip never, almost never happened, right? Yeah. So I texted Scott a couple weeks ago. No, yeah, probably a couple weeks ago. Yeah. Hey, are you coming? What's the chances of you coming and going to Lake of the Woods? <laughs> I replied, 100% not coming. 100% not coming. And I said, not even 0.1%? And I replied, well, maybe 0.0001%. Yeah. Nothing's 100%. Well, here we are. Here we are. 100% chance of not coming. This is the first, first episode that we've had out in quite a while. 
yeah. Yeah, between yeah, hockey. I'm coaching hockey now. You got hockey. Both the boys. boys. Hockey. Yep, Leighton's in gymnastics. Our last video was me, New Year's Eve. <laughs> yeah, if you haven't checked that one out, check that one out. Pup crushed the walleyes out on Lake Winnie. And today's April 1st. Yep, yep. No no April Fool's jokes here today, huh? No. The way the day started out, I kind of thought maybe it was going to be because we just it seemed like everything was going going south this morning. In fact, at one point, Pup and I were standing there thinking, you know what, this is either going to be, this might be one of those days yeah. where we get one flag, one shot, one chance. Well, it just felt like this was the first time that we've ever done this. Yeah, yeah, everything just went wrong. Putting the, whether it's different than the other spot because there's more ice, more snow, but we didn't have to put the extension on. Yep. The, the, and digging more slush out of the hole. <laughs> the shack got taken down goofy yesterday, so we had to take a hub basically apart and re-stick it into the holes and get that all squared away. I don't know, just one of those days. All right, time for a little lunch. Pup, what do we got in the pot today? Well, we have brats from guess where? S&S meats? S &S meats. Are they uh, by chance chili chipotle? They are jalapeno pepper jack. Ooh, jalapeno pepper jack. Yeah. And then Parker made some ramen, right? Mm -hmm. Easy meal on the ice, right Parker? Mm -hmm. Boil some water, dump it in there, then you're good to go. So we finally have a lull in the action to where we can actually eat lunch. Yeah. We've been talking about eating lunch for the last two hours. Right. <laughs> to the point where I was very ready to pull all the tip ups up so we could eat lunch. Yeah, we've never had that problem before. No. But today it's been a problem. Today's been a problem. But a good problem. Too much action. Took some line, huh? <laughs> Not huge, but that's awesome, huh? Yeah. <laughs> oh, he pooped all over you. Oh, did he? Oh, yeah, he sure did. Oh, well. <laughs> all right, tape measure. That's way down in there. Is it? Yeah. Bring the whole sled. Okay, that's right there. 30. Right there. 34. Four? Yeah. 34 and a half. Yeah, 34. 34 and a half. Alright, Scott, one more picture here. Alright, do you guys understand why we cut the line? Yeah. yeah. Alright, if we try to yank that hook out, it's just going to rip up everything inside there. So you're better off just cutting it off and letting it deal with it on its own. A lot of times those hooks will rust out um, and break down and it won't hurt the fish as much. So at least he's got a chance at this point. On the end of our tip up line, we just have a snap swivel. And we're just using some 20 whoop flag. Oh, uh, flag. <laughs> okay. Uh, and then we're using some 20 pound fluorocarbon line and then just a plain uh, treble hook and then a sinker. That's pretty much it. It's a big 40 incher just hanging down there with it in its mouth. Yeah? Not feeling small. It's, uh... Oh, yeah. shit. Holy buckets. <laughs> 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 
How do you get that so that. fun? Holy cow. Look at that. Ooh. I was joking when I said it's a 40 inch hang. <laughs> that thing is fat. That is fat. Fatty. Come on, grab the pliers, please. Oh. Nice, huh? Yeah. I'm just gonna get the. Three thirty-six inches, I think. Look how wide that thing is, even. Okay. Lay down. Okay. Yeah, you catch any more fish. That's gonna be a short. Thirty. Thirty-six and a half. I'll oh, go the top. Thirty-six and a half. Thirty-seven. Thirty-seven. Go to the top of the tail. Ooh. 37 and like oh, a quarter. The tail of mine is yeah, 37. We'll call it 37. That's my best. Yeah, that's a nice looking fish. It's also fat. It's a fat boy. Yeah, yeah. So this hole has caught some big ones. Oh, yeah. Never mind, I got it. There's a nice one. Nice and small. If I keep it, keep us. I keep it. Cover up. Pliers. Cover up the pliers. Little guy, Kellen. Yeah. All right, that's gonna do it for our trip up here at Lake of the Woods. It's one for the record books for us for sure. You guys have a good time. Yeah. yeah you bet. Yeah. Uh, we caught six fish today over 30 inches and four over 35 inches. So that is by far the best we've ever done up here. Um, no complaints at all whatsoever, especially for a trip that wasn't even going to happen originally. So I don't know what our next adventure is going to bring, but when it comes, we will bring it to you. As always, thanks for watching. Stay healthy and see you next, see you next, time. Guys next time. We'll see you next time. Here, there was a stick. You see that stick, Kellen? Mm -hmm. You think that's been there for since last year? No clue. You don't remember seeing it there last year? That one? Yeah, the one that's way out there. You don't remember seeing it? No. Oh. I can't remember if it was there last year or not either. What are the odds you think we found that same stick? Hey, do you think the ice has been here for a whole year? No. <laughs> so, do you think that stick's been there since last year? No. Oh. The future of Team Johnson Outdoors. All right, Scott, let's get that thing fired up. He needs help. He needs to make sure it's on. There he goes. <laughs>